Hey everybody, Pastor Craig Finnesett here. It's Monday morning. I am in uh, Washington DC this week with my son Benjamin and I've spent way too much time on this uh, front porch this morning. So uh, the family I'm staying with, uh, they left to work, their kids went to school. I was trying to keep their house clean. I drank some water last night so I came out to uh, put the bottles in the recycling uh, bin and uh, locked myself out of the house. Now Benjamin was down in the basement. I have no idea what he was doing. Um, he wasn't responding to me, uh, pounding on the windows, the doors, the walls, ringing the doorbell, um, the dog barking, any of that sort of stuff. So I spent a good solid 45 minutes out here uh, this morning. It's um, mid-30s. You can probably hear the plane. I think that goes to Reagan Airport. Mid-30s, uh, the grass was cold as I was walking around the house. Um, <clears throat> the rocks in the driveway were very sharp. Um, <clears throat> so the neighbors, you know, they were very cordial. They loved looking at me in my boxer shorts and um, hot pink dry fit. Uh, Omaha Midnight Run t-shirt. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, so I kind of felt alone. I kind of felt abandoned. Um, and you know, this week uh, I'm talking about the time in Jesus' life when he felt alone and he felt abandoned. Um, near the end of his life, he prays this prayer. And what's really interesting with this prayer is every other time he used the word, uh, he referred to God, he would use the word Abba, which means daddy. It's like a really close, uh, interpersonal word but this time he used the, uh, the formal word God um, he says my God my God why have you forsaken me why have you abandoned me um, there was never a time uh, that Jesus um, <clears throat> that Jesus would have had uh, more humanity than you know what we saw in this place now there's a big difference between me and Jesus uh, you know Benjamin finally emerged from the basement um, I got to go inside, I took a hot shower, I dried off, I took another hot shower. Um, I put lotion on my feet, I got dressed up, and in a little bit we're gonna be going to the Smithsonian Museum. We'll have lunch at a bunch of food trucks this afternoon, and um, yeah, life for me today is fine. But Jesus was at the end of his life, the suffering continued, um, and eventually he died. Now, this Sunday we're gonna be talking about what it means to be alone, what it means to feel abandoned, um, what it means to you know just feel like you're by yourself even if you're surrounded by a bunch of other people if if you've ever felt this way uh this is the stuff we're going to be digging into uh sunday morning at the water's edge so hey for all you kids who are on spring break enjoy it uh families as well um those of you who don't have kids uh are not affiliated with the schools it's a normal week but have a great week uh all of you whoever you are and then uh we'll look forward to seeing you on uh sunday morning at the water's edge we talk about um what it means to live an authentic, robust, flourishing community with other people and with God. So have a great week, everyone. We'll see you Sunday at the Water's Edge.